YouTube, what is going on, Raver family? Today is an awesome day. It is raining outside, but yet it is awesome because we are one day closer to going to California, to LA. One day closer, and I cannot wait. And Fluffy is right there doing the vlog with me. That's what he does because we are the Raver family and we stick together exactly like we all do. You know what I'm saying? But anyhow, if you have not done so yet, make sure you go smash that subscribe button, hit that post notification button, turn it on. That way you get notified every single time we upload. But yesterday, I actually uploaded a video because Carmela had gone to the hospital. So, this is an update from her. Hello guys, I figured I would do an update on my visit yesterday to the hospital. Um, <clears throat> first off I want to say thank you to everybody who prayed for me and kept me in your thoughts and prayers I really appreciate it because I feel like that actually really helped me um, for the past two weeks I've been experiencing some really bad symptoms okay so um, anyways so my papa he would drink distilled water the symptoms I experienced were um, dizziness, walking, when I walked it felt like I was walking in sand, like my legs felt like they were like a hundred pounds. Um, like I was fine when I was laying down, but once I got up and I started moving around I get so lightheaded. The experience that I felt was pretty scary just because I felt like I was losing mobility in my legs. Like if I were to get in my car, like my leg wouldn't get in the car. So I started getting really scared and it just wasn't getting better but I went to the hospital and come to find out I am extremely dehydrated they um, how do I say it like they gave me two liters of um, RV fluid and after like the second one I felt like so much better like it was drastically different um, but my, I was so dehydrated, they couldn't get no blood out of me. Like, they were poking me, I had bruises all over my arms, and nothing would come out, nothing, not even a drop. They were like, do you even have any blood? Like, they had five different people come in, try to do it, and people were getting irritated just because I, they couldn't get no blood. And, but, one thing that I just realized that they told me is, when my papa, when he got sick, um, he always drank distilled water and he drank it all the time so I figured okay well I'm gonna drink it because it should be fine to make a long story short I've been drinking distilled water and supposedly it's bad for you so I did not know that and I've been drinking it for a long time so sometimes now I'm starting to think I wonder if that had anything to do with Papa and him getting sick because why were my legs being affected and his legs were affected? But I, anyways, that's just too much thought. <laughs> I'm like, I've been stressing myself out thinking about it, but okay, so now I know and I'm going to start drinking, he said, spring water, tap water, um, mostly water with minerals. So that is what I'm going to do. And ironically, I think it's kind of weird that I went to a hot springs bathe in mineral water and I did feel better which so after that I was like god I feel so much better so I'm getting better but the next day it came back and almost like with a vengeance so that is why I went and got checked I'm glad I did because I feel so much better I do feel like my face is puffy um from the IVs fluids and um lack of water so I have water with me and I'm gonna start drinking as much as I possibly can and I'm probably going to go back to the hot springs so I can sit in the bathtub. And yeah, thank you for all your prayers. I appreciate everything and it meant a lot to me. I felt very supported. But I am glad that Carmela is doing better. I'm glad that everything is okay as of right now. Um, we will keep you guys updated. It is raining as you guys can hear. But anyhow, 
That is it for today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Join the Raver family. The best family out there. The strongest one. But anyhow, that is it for today. Until next time, stay positive. Keep looking forward. It is the only way to be. Peace.